Here I am at Hard Rock Hell on the Friday and I'm with 13 Stars. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? And you opened on stage one. We today. did. We did. Yeah. 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 How did you find it? How was the crowd? Fantastic. Yeah. Good crowd. Awesome. Very welcoming. Yeah. And even the guys backstage have been fantastic with us. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Help. Oh, yeah. It was it, good. Yeah, excellent. I'd, excellent. I'd do it every day if I could. That yeah. was just, yeah. That's got to be better than any drug you're ever going to find, right? That was just incredible. Incredible. You know, all of our supporters were there, or a lot of them at any rate, and uh, yeah, it was just, oh, just, just splendid. Absolutely yeah. splendid. Just amazing. Yeah. So you still on the high from the gig? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I think I'll still be on the high two weeks from now. <laughs> Although actually, I don't know. When I go back to my day job, I'm maybe <laughs> <laughs> well, back to hell. That's, that's reality for most of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So after here, where are you playing next? We've got a local gig um, in December, and then the next big one is Rock Mantic at Carlisle in the in the Brickyard. Have you ever been? No, I haven't. Oh, you should go. It's really good. It's, it's really, a really good, good festival. Good. It's on Val Valentine's weekend. All oh, right. Okay. And uh, we're playing, and there's a whole lot of other bands playing. Knockout Kane. And, uh, are Wagons playing? No, I don't know. They no. headlined last year. They did, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm not sure who else. Sure. But there's a lot of good bands on, a lot of really cool bands. Um, and then in May we're doing the Hard Rock Hell road trip. Road trip. Beef, you're right, yeah. Uh, and then hopefully next summer we'll be going to America and playing in LA for well a couple of showcase gigs. I hope uh, we need to go and meet the guy who. Uh, who builds our amps? He yeah. wants to have a cup of tea with us. He's based in America. All right. 65 amps, Mr. Dan Bull. He endorses yeah. us. Thanks, Dan. Love you. Um, <laughs> and uh, he wants to have a cup of tea and a jam with us and yep. uh, see us over there. And there's talk of us doing a, a major American tour with a, a pretty, pretty damn big band. So it's early days yet. But yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. See how it goes. And recording wise, what are you up to? What have you just done? Or well, we are just about to release this. The White Raven, which right, is released right. on the 1st of December. Uh, the uh, single, uh, first single, Tide of Waiting, came out a week, two weeks ago. Right. A week ago. Um, the video is up on YouTube. If you type in 13 stars Tide of Waiting, it, you will find it. And um, yeah. Everything's ready and go. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's all happening. It's and, it's before, and it's just before Christmas, so you could ask for this for a Christmas present. Yeah, Absolutely. for your stockings. Yeah. Small enough to go in. Yeah. yeah. Won't regret it. Absolutely. And so it's available um, in the usual way, is it? Yeah, the single is currently available for download on yeah. uh, Amazon and iTunes and all that kind of stuff. And then, as I say, the album, you, you can buy it this weekend at Hard Rock Hell, but it's not officially out until... December the 1st and then you can download it should you wish to or you, you can actually download the album today can on you? iTunes yeah it's oh, released right. today on iTunes but for hard copies and that oh, right. it is the first week in December I think most people are going to want a hard copy right look at that artwork yeah I was going to ask who does your artwork well interestingly this artwork was done by a very good friend of ours who Jackson knows quite intimately called uh, Sadie Cockburn who did a marvellous job. Right. <laughs> she did a marvellous job, yeah. marvellous job. Yeah. And uh, Rob... Uh, Nan Kibble. Nan Kibble at uh, Devil's Gear Media put it all together. Put it together, mm. excellent. So she's quite talented. Yeah, she got a degree in it. Right. So maybe some more in the future or just see how it goes? I'd say, yeah. yeah. Never say never. No. No, absolutely. She did a great job, so yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to ask the first of my random questions. Okay. Mum might love it or hate it. I love it. Hate it. Hate it. What's wrong with you? <laughs> some toasted it's butter. Nasty. Mm -hmm. oh, nasty. Lovely. <laughs> I prefer the brewing industry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a byproduct of the brewing industry, and we work with beer all bloody day. Yeah. So oh. we're in the liquor industry. So I don't want. I don't want to see a byproduct of it, let alone the real <laughs> fucking thing. That was, that's <laughs> Sort of one of the questions that I've been asking was, if you went to a brewery and have, could have a beer named after you, what would you have it called? But if you already work in a brewery, I expect you could, you know, well, have many. We don't we don't work in a brewery as such. We work We're in a bottling a, slash kegging right. plant. Bottling so company. We we right. do we do all sorts of stuff. 
some of it really tasty and some of it undrinkable. Um, but um, <laughs> yeah, if we could, if we, uh, what would I have a beer? Oh, if I had a beer named after, after me. After, um, yeah. band or to do with the band. Or... Hoss's head. That sounds quite good, doesn't it? I don't just want to drink be, out of that. Like, <laughs> oh, but it'd be, uh, but it'd be like, it'd be like you could, you could do the cover. Maybe one of ones that would stay on your shelf for years. No, until but you, you could. Often, there's somebody you don't like. Well, you know Caravaggio's uh, David and Goliath, where yeah. you've got David holding his head, and it's actually Caravaggio's face on yeah. his head. It could be my head, and it could be I don't know you or Andy or somebody holding it like that, and it would be Hoss's head. I wouldn't be holding it. I'd be kicking it around. Right. Well, all right. <laughs> doing kicky uppies. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, I don't know what I'd call the beer. Um, Big Jack's. Yeah, probably Big Jack's homebrew. But uh, Big Jack's secret sauce. Uh, I don't know. I don't want that many folk getting onto that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have uh, Jar Jar's aftermath. After <laughs> That's good. <laughs> he had he had a long time to think about yeah. that, didn't he? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and Kiss, as you know, is a big band, and yeah. they have. Their names on every sort of product you could think of, from condoms, pregnancy yep. kits, baby's dummies, you know. What would you like to see your name on as a product? And what would you call it? Tea bags. <laughs> tea bags? Yeah, and I would call it the Boston Tea Party. And if you throw it in the sea, it's your loss. No. <laughs> I'd like teaspoons as well. 13 stars teaspoons because I love teaspoons. I can't live without teaspoons. I like them. I wouldn't know what to pick. I don't know. Cars. 13 stars car would be pretty badass. It'd have to be a hot rod. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. V12. Yeah, I'd have to get in touch with Gibbons, like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. I'd like to see it on a thong. Yeah. On a thong. Yeah. Hey, that's doable, man. It's coming your yeah. way shortly. <laughs> 30 stars thongs. Jaja, yeah. we'll yeah. model it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. On the merch store soon. 13 stars toilet seat. How good would that be? And then you could have Jackson's face just oh, over there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Little voice thing. Yeah. You know. right. yeah, loser, you can't piss straight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. In the bowl. Yeah. And Watch the rug. <laughs> and leading sort of on from that, there's a Indian metal band called Demonic Resurrection, mm -hmm. and the lead singer Demon Stealer has his own heavy metal cooking show. So if you, I have come across it actually. If you had, you know, as a band, who would you have cooking for you? Who can do cook what? Do you mean who within the band? Oh yes. All oh, right. Well, uh... and and maybe have the sh uh, your own show and sort of be doing the cooking and. Well, uh, there is cooking with Hoss, no. <laughs> but no, no, I mean, we all can cook, can't we? Except for Andy, who's, who's yeah. just, I, I don't even think he, he knows how toast is made, so. Uh. <laughs> so what would be your dish each that you would think you'd be able to do for this? Well, you cook curry, don't you? Chicken tikka masala. You're a mm. curry oh, man. Yeah. 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 Uh, mine's just going to have to, I, I like to think myself as one of the greatest for like Cumberland sausage. All right, right. I would go for homemade southern fried chicken with cornbread. Ooh. So yeah, interesting sort of mixture there. Yeah. Right. He's like so, he meant pot noodles. No. <laughs> <laughs> and, and interestingly, you know. It, so you can do this on when you do an album or anything, at, you know, at merchandise. You can do your own recipes. Go with it yeah, and sell them. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you and you know, if if, the if any, if any, <laughs> if any chefs want to come and cook for us, Nigella. We are waiting. We <laughs> cook, come and cook for us. Thirteen yeah, stoves. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now my last random question: You've got to choose either A, B, or C. So each you have to choose a letter. B. You want B? Yeah. Should we do yours first? Why not? Right. You're on a jet plane. Yeah. You've made it. You're going to a gig. You're really happy and feeling brilliant. Something happens to the pilot and it starts to go down. You have one parachute. Then you find another one. Who in the band would you say? <laughs> Depends. Is my name on all the royalties? <laughs> I don't know. This is where well, you are, you see, you see. I wouldn't save anyone because what if my first parachute didn't open? 
I had one on the back of it, I have one on my chest, uh, um, 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 and one on my back, so tough shit guys, I'm sorry, you know, survival of the fittest, you know, that's my answer, yeah, I'm back, not you're burning so <laughs> Excellent, so who wants A and C, or C, who wants A? I'll go A. A, right, it's the zombie apocalypse. Okay. All the zombies are outside, you know, and mm-hmm. you're just one building. Who in the band would die first, and who would live the longest? Andy would die first. <laughs> Without a shadow of a doubt. He was trying to have his way with one. <laughs> <laughs> or he'd go out and try and start a oh, conversation oh, with him. Right, right. Yeah, cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, oh, we don't oh, talk much. Oh, 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 you written on that, eh? Um, yeah. <laughs> Andy would die first for sure. Who would survive the longest? I think. I think you'd maybe survive the longest. Yeah, so. As long as you had insulin, you'd be yeah, fine. Yeah, well, I'd maybe go first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you had insulin, I think you'd survive. Or me. Or Jack. Well, we'd probably survive pretty similar, really. You know, although we'd be buggered because as soon as we run out of tobacco, we'd be like, right, I'm just going to risk it. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, three quarters of an hour after that last bit of tobacco goes, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right. yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, you'd be the same when your juice ran out. So. Oh, yeah. At least you can stretch out a back. My battery's gone. Bug it out. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Chowing on grass somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get a mixture You'd in. You'd be the same boat as him then. He's yeah. Fuck we'll yeah. stick together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll find a vape bar and just barricade the door and stay in. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad plan, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right then, C. C, okay. You do the lottery together, you know, you're in syndicate. The rest of the bands come in and say, great, we've won millions, our numbers have come in. But you've for- actually forgotten to put the money on their <laughs> ticket. <laughs> what would you say to the band? Um, there's been a problem. <laughs> <laughs> and I would probably, in that situation, make something up and blame the shop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It wasn't my fault, that's it wasn't my fault. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was Asda's fault. Yeah. Other supermarkets are available. Yeah. <laughs> it was Asda's oh, fault. I'm sorry guys, but yeah, our numbers have come in, but like three million people have got the same numbers. Uh, so, you know, so, so you, you get a quarter tenner. There you go. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for giving me some of your time. Oh, thank you. Welcome. And it was Thanks good. I watched some of your set earlier oh, as well. Thank so, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you okay. very much. Thank you. Thank you.